It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Oh my beautiful Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today, darling, I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Libra. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with y'all's pseudo comments. Also, Libra, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Libra, because it does help me out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way but remember libra put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever i believe the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought for a thought today a uh, perspective to consider but never making the choices in your life libra because it's your life to live honey not mine and not these tarot cards so with all that being said honey let's get into your weekly tarot reading all right, so Libra, starting out with your starting card, I'm going to be pulling an or uh, angel oracle card, honey, and to see what the theme of the week is going to be for you. Let's take a look right now. Okay, you guys have the archangel, the angel of memory, Zachriel. So this is going to be a very vague card because this could be a situation of where um, you're reflecting onto the past, Libra, and you're realizing you're being able to just appreciate right now how much you've grown of recent times. Um, this could be an energy of where you are um, having something, some type of reminder from the past coming back up into your present that you need to be working on. So let's get some clarifiers, right? Because this can be quite literally about so much. So that's why we got some clarifiers, darling. Let's pull some cards for this. And Libra, keep in mind, I live in Washington and it's over 100 degrees right now. Not exaggeration. I think it's like 106. I have no AC, honey. So if you see me extra moisturized, honey, you can fly. <laughs> let's get into this. I'm seeing the number two. So let's pull two cards. So we have the Sun card as well as the Chariot card coming in here. So Libra, both of these are in the inverted. So are you guys falling back into old habits, old ways, old patterns that you uh, that you developed at one point um, that kind of kept you down, that didn't, wasn't really conducive, produ uh, productive for your life in some type of way, right? With this memory card coming in here, or this could just be like an unpleasant memory coming in here. Why are these two cards here? The Lover's card, ooh, baby. So, this is the direct message, and I'm, I, don't, I know for a fact this is not going to be for everybody, Libra. But this is a direct message to for my Libras that have some unfinished business, personal business with somebody, some bodies. Um, this is a message for my Libras to anticipate hearing from them. There's almost this like unfinished business um, that I feel like is going to be coming up for you this week, Libra. So definitely be prepared for that. You know, I definitely, I keep on hearing like closure or lack of closure for something. So I don't know if someone's going to be trying to come into your life um, to bring closure into it. Or maybe that's what you're trying to do, Libra, because you, it's without this closure, it's put life to a halt. So why the why is the lover's card there? Let's pull two. We have the King of Pentacles and the Devil card in the reverse. So this is coming in as a situation, Libra, of someone coming in with an apology. Or someone coming in with the... And I never usually get it kind of like this, Libra, either. Where it's like someone's, like, acknowledgement that, you know, maybe it seems like a connection. Really, Libra, how I am, I, how I am personally identifying this is, like, a connection that kind of was sour, kind of stopped being really... Um, good for you, right? And this is probably something that you felt was like your soulmate or like a deep soul connection to, right? You were really just like, oh yeah, this is like the one. Or even if it's not about a person, honey, right? Because I want to, I don't want to disengage from the importance for my Libras that um, were having, feeling really good about like a work situation as well. Whatever brought you stability, right? King of Pentacles, whatever brought you a lot of stability in your life and had you feeling good. Um, it kind of just went sour, right? It went from like feeling like really good to then you're just like, for some reason you identified it as where it's just like, it went to a halt. I don't know if this is a situation of where, um, you know, both sides weren't growing, right? I don't know if you uh, potentially like outgrew the situation. I don't know if there was like a misunderstanding Libra. 
but there's is very much so identifying this situation where something that like feels like it was really good started out strong tapered out now whatever happened between y'all it feels like something's coming back in to say like hey i learned from my ways hey i messed up or whatever trying to make amends right king of pentacles comes in as the positive stability card where it's just like really trying to make the best out of it and really trying to um Bring some type of healing, some type of understanding. So let's close off this energy, right? Let's get an idea on, um, you know, let's get an impression for, yeah, let's just do one. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is a situation of where it's almost just like Libra. There's like a connection, something here that you felt really good about. You saw the potential in, but the other side wasn't really seeing their potential or living up to their potential right this person wasn't living up to their potential and so for you libra i'm seeing this as a perspective of where maybe you considered this person being like all right you're not living up to your potential this isn't actually feeling good to me anymore i'm gonna bail out right and it feels like for you libra you were just kind of identifying this like i don't feel like this is necessarily like a I mean, y'all know Libra. I don't like villainizing any perspective just because we're all human, right? It's what comes off as bad. Like, you know, we're all going through our things. We manage our mental health and whatever differently. But I don't feel like this is necessarily like bad blood. It just feels like one of those things where Libra, you identified something and just not being for you anymore. And you peaced out. And I kind of see this person after you peaced out, Libra, kind of being, coming back in and being like, hey, like, um, how are you feeling now? How are you feeling now, darling? So, yeah, take that as you will, Libra. Very interesting message, very unique message for to come in for this type of dynamic of a reading, because I usually stray away from those type of uh, dynamics for this type of reading. But um, yeah, now let's get into some advice from Spirit. This is my favorite portion, personally, uh, Libra, just because this is where you get the tough love advice. This is where you, if you're really wanting to grow in your life and really develop and challenging yourself, Libra, this is the messages to really be paying attention to not that you shouldn't you should always be paying attention to my readings honey <laughs> so let's get into this libra let's see the starting card what is the first advice from spirit for you darling the star card in the reverse so libra i kind of feel as if are you guys losing faith are you guys like are you some of you guys experiencing burnout darling right is this burnout that i'm tapping into let's pull a couple clarifiers i'm seeing the number three we have the Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, the Five of Wands, and then the Five of Cups. Okay, yeah. My Libras are starting to experience a little bit of burnout, but I don't even feel like it's necessarily about the star itself, whatever it is you're actively working towards, Libra. I feel like it's just like the the weight of just life in general, I feel like is weighing on you. Like the conflicts, the blockages that you're constantly dealing with, Libra. It feels like you kind of just been persistently hustling right consistently healing consistently self-reflecting like even if you're not working like your nine to five or whatever your projects or whatever you're working in the sense of like development for yourself right i feel like you kind of just have not turned off right with this knight of swords here this is kind of partially why i emphasize the mental portion of it because it's showing to me like you're making a lot of progress libra trust and believe i don't want this to come off as a message where it's like you're not doing enough i feel like you're doing enough right? I feel like you're doing a lot, actually making a lot of ground, making a lot of growth. But this Five of Cups is coming in here where it's just like, you know, you acknowledge that you're growing a lot, but that doesn't take away the stress and take away the draining feeling that you might be having right now. I say might, but you are having it right now, Libra. Um, and I see this kind of like, you know, naturally, your stamina is probably just wavering a little bit. You're probably just getting a little bit tired and just being like, honey, like, I need a break, darling, <laughs> right? And I kind of see this where it's like, I mean, obviously, the answer is going to be different for all of us Libras, because I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp. I feel like I always plug that in with all my videos just because I'm such a proud Libra, um, but rightfully so. But um, yeah, Libra, I see this burnout happening with you, right? If you don't acknowledge this and identify how it is you can get out of this pattern for yourself. You're still making a lot of forward ground. Just figure out um, with this Five of Cups, like I feel like you don't want to like have this go unaddressed. If you're feeling tired out and you're feeling like your stamina is wavering, what can you do to recharge your stamina and keep it going, right? Is it just simply a perspective shift or is it just like you needing like some type of outside affirmation, Libra, that you're going to the right places, right? Let's close off this energy. 
We have the Hermit card. So definitely some more reflecting, definitely more time alone. Uh, Libra, I am going to suggest going out in nature, but that's completely biased because that's what I like to do. Libra, I feel like you guys need to have, I feel like it's almost important for you, Libra, if I'm going to give you guys some homework, is to schedule in just your own personal time. And when I say personal time, this is not your time. I mean, you can self-reflect, obviously, do what you want. But I want you to schedule in some specific time of where you are guilt-free and Investing into this and getting what you, you know, enjoying yourself. I feel like there's just, I don't know. I feel like you need some type of project of where you can kind of just disconnect and get out of your head and get out of this mindset of feeling like, oh, how can I monetize this? How can I push myself to make this better, right? Focus on something that you can just do just because you enjoy it rather than doing it because you're trying to reach an end point, reach a goal. Does that make sense, Libra? I hope it does. Um, but yeah, now let's get into the good stuff that's in the works for you, Libra. Let's get into that. So starting out, my Libras, what are the good stuff in the works for them? So Five of Swords, this is going to be a week of where we're really going to be addressing the anxieties, the inner voice in your head of that doubt, probably. So this could be really good. This could be a foreshadowing if you've been having a lot of like in your head questioning if you're living out your purpose or in your head if you're making the right decisions or if you're on the right path or whatever your narrative is, uh, Libra, this is going to be worked through, right? So if this is about work, maybe it's a good sign about work. Let's get some clarifiers. I'm seeing the number four. So we have here the Ace of Wands, the Temperance card inverted, both of them being inverted, the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups stepping forward for you. What an interesting pairing, darling. So as we are already identifying before, Temperance card, Ace of Wands in the reverse. Libra, you guys have probably been feeling a little bit more impatient and that's probably a little bit as to why your stamina has been wavering is because like you've been hoping for a little bit more results. You're starting to get a little bit impatient and being like, all right, when are my blessings coming, Velka? Right? Like when are these good things happening for me? And that's what's been sitting in your mind, right? And I feel like that's, yeah, that's part of the reason. Queen of Cups, Six of Cups coming in here. Now this is beautiful because with this, you're gonna get a lot of emote, like you're gonna be feeling really good here soon with this Queen of Cups because of this card right here, Six of Cups. Now this could be talking about some past energy, right? I have to mention this just because of the memory card, because this is like thinking about the past, maybe something from the past coming up and because of that closure perhaps that makes you feeling, that makes you feel good and reinvigorates you. But I, talk about how good this card is because the six of cups also represents some type of offer being made some type of gift being given to you so you know when this sense here right libra whatever it is that you've been having some anxieties about with that five of swords it's going to be uh, taken care of with that six of cups right so what does that look like for you all right now libra let's get into my libra's social situation when i say social it could be work it could be romantic it could be anything darling it could be platonic or romantic we have all sorts of relationships in our life so we have the first quarter moon your commitment is being tested when it comes to your social relationships so maybe especially if someone's coming back up from your past that's like your your test libra and how you're going to handle the situation naturally um that is the first thing that came to mind so i feel like it's going to be the case for a lot of you guys and you know how you handle this thing coming back up from the past that's you know this person right is going to really dictate like if you have really learned the lessons and really done the work that you said you've done queen of pentacles coming in here i see you guys being able to accomplish this with ease though right queen of pentacles is having you feeling really good through this test right let's get a couple more we have the Two of Cups inverted as well as the Fool card inverted. So some of you got a lot of you Libras, something's coming in from the past. This is very much so like, I'm just going to speak in terms of like X energy, darling. This is the easiest way to get this message out there, honey. Um, right? Your commitment's being tested, right? To see if you're, how comfortable you are, Libra, and with yourself. How confident you are with yourself, right? How happy are you with yourself as the Queen of Pentacles? How content are you with being by yourself, honey? Uh, Two of Cups and the Fool card coming in in the reverse are you going to this test is a situation where it's like are you going to um engage into an old past energy again right 
even if you know it's not the best for you, right? That's the question. I feel like that's the test that's coming in for you. Death card is in the back of the deck, page of pentacles as well. So definitely, I feel like some type of line of communication, anticipate a text, anticipate a message. I would very strongly say Libra and someone reaching out to you, trying to reconnect in some way. Now, I'm not going to tell you what way you should do, how you should handle it, right? Just know that you're being tested, right? You'll know how to handle that situation better than I possibly could because y'all know that your situation better than I would, obviously, honey, because I'm not in your life All right now libra let's get into your financial and career this week what's looking what's your financial and career looking like this week libra let's see let's see right here waning moon what is it that you need to release i feel the need to be pulling this one as well full moon and gemini the answers you need are coming so what is it that you need to release with yourself is it like your old mindset when it comes to your money uh libra um because again this is kind of when you think about it with that temperance card that i was talking about in the reverse with that impatience right um i do feel like this is kind of like coming in as that same message of being like um don't stress this out don't like think about why it is you're stressing about the money is it because of just x y and z or is it because you feel like it's not going like this thing is not going to pay out for you. Nine of Wands in the reverse shows to me where it's like a situation where a lot of you uh, Libras are worrying about if it's actually going to work out in your life, right? That's more so the concern, more so than the actual financial portion. I mean, obviously the financial portion helps, speaks for itself, darling. But it feels like for a lot of you guys, this speaks more in the sense of like wanting results, wanting answers, just so you have the affirmation that what it is that you're doing isn't a waste of time, right? I'm seeing the number two seven of wands four swords yeah it feels like there's a lot of pressure on you to perform libra it feels like maybe even for yourself but i feel like there's a lot of eyes on you and the four of swords comes in as a situation where it's like yeah, you probably have had recently, Libra, some nights where you probably have been a little bit emotional and trying to, a little bit of frustration even, right? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You guys have really been in your head. It shows to me, Libra, that whatever goal that it is that you've been working on, putting a lot of energy into, and I would be saying this is probably something that's for a long time now for you, for my, to see my Libras being this impatient. This is something that you've worked a long time on and you're putting a lot of weight. Maybe you put all your ducks or all like put all all your eggs in this one basket that's the saying right um yeah there's such an attachment to something um it's not a bad thing i'm just like identifying and being like wow you really care about this needing to work out which honey i understand honey i understand entirely libra all right now libra before we close out this tarot video for you let's pull a quote card for you and see um the quote that you can take with you for the rest of this week darling y'all get two honey i'm not gonna complain libra because y'all know i love my quotes so the two quote cards that came out the first one that says when i lean on the faith of the universe peace becomes real Right? This is already identifying, Libra, the issue that you're having when it comes to having faith in your dreams, having faith in that you're going to be taken care of, having faith in yourself and your capabilities, right? Having faith that things are going to work out because when you have faith, that's when that five of swords that we were talking about, darling, um, dissipates, right? It's because you know it's going to work out. You're not stressing about any of that because you just know you know your story gets better darling and it does and libra you have you choose love no matter what right you're choosing this thing no matter what whatever it is you're choosing to have faith in you're choosing it because you feel passionate about it libra you're choosing it because you truly love it and that's the thing that needs to keep you going that's the thing that you need to remind yourself of even if you're not getting the results of it quite yet that's not the sign that you need to release it you need you're living in your continue living in your truth libra live in your truth don't have anxiety at this time don't let this burnout uh get the best of you darling because you absolutely have this handled so um yeah libra that is the weekly tarot reading that i have for you this week i hope you found some cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading thank you for your patience and me getting this reading to you as well honey as i'm just sweating like a pig honey um hopefully you enjoyed this tarot reading if you'd like to book a personal reading with me libra my website is just simply valka.com i'll link it, leave a link in the description box along with my social medias tiktok instagram facebook all that is just simply valka and yeah libra hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. I love you so much. Bye.